Hi, this is Vivica Von Rosen, and I am so excited to show you some things about the new profile. Um, I think most excited about the ability to add um, media content to your summary section and to some of the other areas on LinkedIn. So let me show you how to do that really quickly. Um, first of all, make sure that you're in profile and you want to be in edit profile, not view profile. Um, so make sure that you're in edit, well, <laughs> make sure you're in edit profile, which apparently that didn't want to do for me there. And then um, what you're going to do is scroll down to your summary section. And that's the first place that you can add content. So you can actually see some of the content I've already added, um, my SlideShare presentations, uh, my blog posts, a um, couple other things in there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, probably the only bummer is it's not evergreen, so you have to continue to add your, your blog posts. Um, but still, it's, it's cool that you can easily add photos, that you can easily add uh, PowerPoint presentations, and you can easily add video now with just a matter of a couple clicks. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, this is the media adding link box thingy. That, do you like my official term for that? <laughs> but this is what you're going to click to add video, uh, images, blogs, documents, etc., presentations to your profile. Now, the caveat here is it has to be a link. So whether it's a box.com link, um, a dropbox.com link, a slideshare.com link, a youtube.com link, you can't actually upload um, say a, a Word document, but you can upload your Word document to box.net or Dropbox and then get that link and add it here. So it's all cloud-based basically. So you go to where it says add a link and then open up your, uh, your um, well, whatever you want to open up, whether it's uh, YouTube or um, box.net or SlideShare, etc. Uh, I'm going to just do a YouTube video here. And then you just grab that and copy it. And then go back to your profile. And then you can just add that link. So there we go. And what's nice about this is it allows you to um, customize your, your title and your description as well if you want. And then you just click Save. Now, the one thing I'm not thrilled about right now is you can't move these around. Like, I would much rather this video be up higher. So I'm actually probably going to end up deleting most of this content and then re-uploading it in the way I want to. Uh, to. To delete content, just to show you how to do that real quickly, all you do is click on the pen, and then you can just remove media there. So when I uploaded my power, I'm sorry, when I uploaded my SlideShare, it pretty much uploaded every presentation I had on SlideShare. And really, I would prefer some video and some blogs to show up first. So important to add the content you want first because <laughs> um, it, it goes in that order. My guess is eventually we'll be able to, to move that around. Uh, you can also add um, media to your experience section. So as you see here, if I want to add media there, I think I already have, yeah. Uh, but if I wanted to add media, um, well, let's add it since it was an interview for LinkedIn Marketing in Our Day. Again, I could just add it there. There it is again. <laughs> they always choose the, <laughs> the best thumbnails, don't they? <laughs> and then I can add it to that section. So another thing you can do if, if you end up having, you know, just a whole lot of content up here, and you really want to highlight some videos, pop them into your experience section. And this isn't about the new user interface here, but just remember experience is all your experience. It's not just your businesses, like there's my business, but there's the book I wrote, um, you know, here is one of my main clients, uh, here's my tweet chat that I do. Um, so I can add media to every single one of my experience sections on LinkedIn. So I think that is just very, very cool indeed. Um, 
and as you can see, it's really, really, as you can see, I need to add a lot of video here, but as you can see, it's really quite easy to do. Um, so I'm just checking to see if there's any other media I can add. So yes, you can add media to your education as well. What a great place to upload maybe an interview from a professor who uh, thought you rocked it. Um, so that's, you know, something that you could do in that section as well. So just one of the newest, coolest things about the new user interface that I absolutely love. Again, my name is Vivica Von Rosen, and I am happy to share anything and everything about LinkedIn with you.